this story in John chapter 5, there's a man that's paralyzed that's sitting at the pool of Bethesda. And he's been sitting by this pool for 38 years. And when Jesus comes on the scene, he sees this man. He knows that he's been sitting here for quite a long time. And when he approaches the man, he asks him a question and he says, do you want to be well? And the funny thing that this man does is how he responds to Jesus. And he says, well, I can't because every time that I try to get into the pool, someone else gets in front of me. And sometimes God has asked us a question and we give him an excuse. It may not be, do you want to be well? It may be, do you want more out of life? It may be, are you tired of being stuck in this situation? Do you want to move on? Whatever that question that Jesus is asking you on today or what he's asked you in the past, I want you to think about it. Have you given God an excuse of why you can't do whatever he's asked you to do or whatever he's pressing you to do? So I want you to know that in this season, in this time, it's time to walk. It's time to walk into those things that God has planted on the inside of you. It's time to do new and crazy things that's going to blow the minds of God's people. Whatever God is planted, I want you to not let it lay dormant on you. But I want you to let it stir up in your spirit and say, you know what, God? I don't want to be like the man sitting by the pool of Bethesda waiting 38 years, giving excuses of why I can't do a certain thing. So in this season and in this time, I encourage you and I, and I push you to do great things. Whatever it is, it's time to walk. It's time to stop making excuses. It's time to get more out of life. It's time to start living our lives fully for Christ. It's time to build the kingdom of God like never before. It's time to win lost souls. So in this season, let God stir those gifts up in you so that you can do just miraculous things. So I encourage you in this season, get up, do the things of God. It's time to walk. Thank you for tuning in with me on today, and I'll see you later on this week. Have a wonderful week.